Today I'm going to show you how to program um, this roller um, for roller blinds um, that I purchased uh, from Amazon. Um, this was purchased from a vendor by the name of Roller House. They sell several of these motors in different sizes. What it comes with, um, it comes with this motor along with the charging adapter and instructions. Um, so because I have uh, several of these, I will not be using this uh, single channel remote because I'd like to operate each one of my, my blinds individually. So what I've done, I've actually gone and purchased separately this uh, 15 channel remote. You see it has a um, digital display there indicating um, each of the channels. So you can buy this on a kit with the adapter and the single channel remote or if you have multiple you don't have to buy the kit um, you can actually just simply purchase this unit individually. And because I have um, purchased these individually and wanted them on a separate separate channels, I've gone ahead and purchased the multi-channel remote. So in order to get started here, what we're going to do, we're going to reset this motor. So that is done by simply pressing and holding this red program button here. And when I do that, you'll see this wheel on and um, wheel jog twice. So there it is. You heard that sound, it did jog twice, indicating that the memory now is now cleared from this uh, motor. So I'm going to program this now, and I want it on channel 2. So in order to program this on channel 2, you have to, first of all, take a look at our remote here. Um, you'll see that I have a uh, right button, a left button, uh, up, down, and the stop button. On the reverse, there are two other buttons. Um, they're sort of recessed here from the surface of the remote and one is the confirm button and the other one is the limit button and as we go along to program these with the blinds um, we'll find out what each one of these does but right now we're mostly concerned with this confirm button and we're going to confirm that um, indeed this motor will operate on channel 2 so in order to do that what we will do we will once again hold this down this program button it should jog twice. I'll then ensure that my remote is on channel 2. I will turn it over and then I'll press and hold that confirm button and when I hold that confirm button I will wait until the motor here jogs twice to confirm that's on channel 2. Okay. Here we go. Press it, hold it and wait for it to jog. And there it is. We are on channel 2. I'll then turn it over I will hold down this confirm button and there it is, has jogged twice more. Just to make sure, I will go to channel 2, I'll press the up button and you'll see that the motor is now turning and I'll press the stop button and there we have it. We have now programmed a motor to channel 2.